Mike, after the, uh, the highlight of that remarkable muscle dish, what's next in the uh, high value nutrition? Uh, so for the main course, we are going to do grass fed Wagyu short rib, and we're going to slow graze it, and we're going to pair it off with a bit of celery puree, black olive and anchovy vinaigrette. And Sounds fantastic. This is New Zealand grass fed Wagyu, which makes it a very interesting product in that we're the only producers in the world who have this crossbreed of, uh, of beef. And because they're slow growing beef, you can see the large amount of fat that's um, dispersed. And obviously you use the fat for flavor, yeah, definitely. but we're interested in the nutritional benefits of that fat. Once again, is a whole raft of very interesting omega-3 fats that you get from purely grass-fed animals. But there's probably lots of other biologically active fats for which we don't have any long-term understanding of what they do for human health. All right, that's the end. Yep. We're ready to go. What happens yep. first? Okay, awesome. So we're going to just put a bit of olive oil on there. Give it a good rub. And smoking hot skillet. This is a short rib. Yep. So, so how, how do you cook a short rib? Slow and long. And so what does that do when it, you cook it slow and long? Break down the connective tissue within yeah. the muscle. Yeah. Breaking it down actually softens the texture of the meat. Well, I, I just think it just makes it flavorful. Yeah, uh, that I'm as well, oh, that <laughs> as well. That as well, yeah, definitely. Look at that beautiful marble in here. That's it. So Mike, what's yep. this dish again? Slow grey short rib, olive, caper berry, vinaigrette, chargill, Brussels sprouts. New Zealand grass-fed wagyu. Magnificent. That's it.